Couch, dog, me, palaces. Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome arrangement lesson right here on Lickin' Riff, in which we'll learn a full arrangement of Go the Distance from the Disney movie Hercules. You asked for more Disney, you get it. Now, first I'm gonna play for you, and then we're gonna break it down lick by lick with tabs right here on the screen. As usual, goes like this, enjoy. All right, so um, we have the intro, the verse, the chorus, the bridge, and the last chorus. Okay, we have five parts to go through. The intro is pretty straightforward. Now, you can start uh, by playing it this way. And then play this. Okay, adding the harmony, and then again. Okay? Or you can start the song right away from the verse. Okay? And start from this, uh, because basically it's the same uh, harmony. So, um, the harmony is 7-7 seven, seven on strings 1 and 3. 7-7. Okay? Seven and seven. Um, It's kind of a G chord outline. Okay? This is a G chord. Okay? Um, just a D shape on the 7th uh, fret. So we're playing seven and seven on strings one and three. Then we have five and six on strings one and three. It's from the A chord. So it's G, A, and then we play D. Now I play the whole chord, and then I continue playing the third string, and then two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three. Okay, strings two and three. Um, because that's uh, in the Michael Bolton version, uh, you can hear it, it's the synthesizer playing in the background, so... And then again... Okay, while the chord rings. Um, again, it's up to you whether you want to play this or not, if not, just start from the verse. The verse starts with 7 and 5 on strings 2 and 1. Now, I like to slide to 7. Okay, just because it's possible. Okay, it's a guitar, so why not use the embellishments? And then you have G A D. Now for G, you can do the full piano G. Okay, 
with 7 and 3 on strings 1 and 6 and play strings 1, 2, 3 and 6 or play a G over D chord, okay? Which is basically 7 on the E string and the open 2nd, 3rd and 4th strings which are in the G chord. So this works fine. Um, and then you have A. It's 5-2-2 two, two on strings 1, 2 and 3 so you bar the 2nd fret with the open 5th string of course. Okay, because it's A, so, um, and then you have D, just a normal D chord. Then you do it again, okay, I accidentally stop at 6. Okay, you can do the full one, if you like the whole bass move. Okay, it's up to you. Um, and then you have okay, the G chord again. Okay, any variation you like. Then you have this A. Okay, it's the D shape up on 9. Okay, so it's 9, 10, 9. Okay? Um, you can just play 9 and 9 on strings 1 and 3. Okay, just for a more um, piano like sound instead of a full guitar sound. Okay, so you can do um, this, just the 9 and 9 on strings 1 and 3 with the open A bass of course, the open 5th string, and then you have B minor, like this, okay? 7 on the 6th string and 10-10 ten, ten on strings 1 and 2. So you can just bar with your pinky and put 7 on the 6th string. Okay? Then you have this. Okay, it's it's four on the fourth string with the G bass. Okay, with three on the sixth string. Then the open third string, four on the fourth again, and then two on the fourth with A. This is A five. Um, and then you have this again. Okay, the G A move, and then you can do this. Okay if you want to stick to the original melody. You can finish with the normal D chord or this. So you have to bar the second fret for um, two on the E string and the G string, okay? And do five two on the E string with your pinky, okay? If you don't want to, you can do this, okay? Five on the E string, seven on the B string or five on the E string and then the D chord. It's up to you. And then you have, okay, 10 pull off to 9 on the E string. And then again, G, A, okay, or G, okay, depending whether you want the G bass or not. And then you have this D, okay, it's D, 2 pull off to 0 on the E string, 3 on the B string. And then you have this, hammer on to 2 on the 3rd string, and then G, just open 2nd string is the melody, you can play the whole chord. Okay, strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, and then you have F sharp 7, which is cool because you can do this, you don't have to put everything on, bar on 2, 3 on the, se on the third string, okay, 3 on the third string, and because it's 7, okay, you have 2 on the fourth, so you can just play strings 2, 3, 4, and 6, so just two fingers, and then you have B minor, okay, strings 2, 3, of course, you play the bass note with the first note. Okay, so, uh, sorry, G, F sharp, B minor, and then, okay, this is kind of a G major 7 sound, it's 2 and 3 on strings 1 and 6, and you play 2 on the E string and then the whole chord, okay, the G chord with 2 on the E string, which is G major 7, you play strings 1, 2, 3, and 6. And then you do three, two, three on the E string. Okay, so it's two, two, three, two, three. And then you have A sus four. Now, to get used to what I'm gonna show you in the chorus, play uh, A sus four like this, like a D chord with the open E string, like D sus two, but with an A bass. It's easier to put on than this, okay? Okay, and you don't need anything else. Okay, so you just play strings one, two, three, and five. 
and uh, this is enough. And this is what we're gonna do in a second in the chorus. Okay, so okay, it's D sus two, but when you play it with the A bass, it's A sus four. Okay, so um, okay, G A D. Okay, and then G A D again. G, high A, B minor, G, A, G and A, A, G, A again, and then this if you like, for uh, D, the 5, 2, and then 10, 9, and then again, with that embellishment, G, F sharp, minor and then okay G major 7 2 3 2 3 on the E string and then a sus4 then you have the chorus 2 3 on E and then you have D over F sharp but with a high a note with 5 on the E string so you put a bar on two three on the second string and five on the first and you play strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, this is a really nice inversion of a D chord. And then three on the second string again. Then just the G bass note with the open first, second, third strings. Okay, this is G six technically. So and then you have D to A sus four. So you know what we're gonna play, right? You have. Basically, it's a D shape with two zero two three two zero on the E string, and when you play that last two zero, you play the A bass, so it turns to A sus four, just like I showed you before. So, okay, this is D. You can play the whole chord, then two zero with A, and then you get the A sus four sound without changing anything. And then you do. This again, right? The first two chords. Then you have D and A sus4 again, just with a slight difference in the melody. Two, zero, two, three, and then zero with A sus4. Okay, so it's a shorter line. Two, zero, two, three, and then zero with the A sus4. Then you have okay, the D over F sharp line again. Then three again on the second string, but this time the G chord. Uh, the melody is the open second string, so you play strings two, three, four, and six. Okay, so instead of you play the open second string, then you have okay, two on the uh, sorry three on the second string, open E string, and then B minor, the full chord because the E string is the melody. Okay, the F sharp note. Then two on the third string, you can just lift your pinky and then. Okay, you have E minor, so you can play the four low strings. Okay, the melody note is the open third string. So, okay, and then you have this. Okay, okay, it's a chord for every note. Okay, let's go over this slowly. You have uh, hammer on two, two on the third string. And then you have G, strings 2, 3, and 6. Then you have A, strings 3, 4, and 5. Then you have a D chord, but like this. 4 and 5 on 4 and 5. Right? This is the head of a C shape chord. Okay, so that's this. So just these notes, 4 and 5 on 4 and 5. Then you have A again, but with a C sharp bass, because the bass uh, also plays a melody here. So... It's two and two again on strings uh, three and four, but with four on the fifth string. So you get this, okay? a classical move. And then you have B minor, strings two to five, okay? all four of them. Then you play two, two, two on strings one, two, and three with A. This is A6, and this is the G major seven again. Two on the E string, three on the low E bass string and open second and third strings. Okay, so you get this. How beautiful.
beautiful is that? Ellen Menken is a genius. And then three on the E string, a normal A chord finally, and then three three on the second string into a D chord. I play strings two, three, and four. Okay, so that's your chorus. And then you can play the verse and chorus again. And then you have the bridge. The bridge starts with this F chord, a bar on five, C shaped, and it's five, 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 five on the E string, so you can just play the whole chord. Okay, with eight on the fifth string as your bass note. And then you have B flat, bar on six, E shaped, and the E string is the melody, so you play the whole chord. And then using your pinky, you play 10, eight, uh, six on the second string. And then you have this. Now what is this? This is C over E. It's a C chord with the E bass with three on the E string as well, which is a G note, which is in the C chord. So it's a really nice C chord. Okay? Three, one on strings one and two, open third, open sixth. And then you have five on the E string with your pinky because then you have to bar the second fret, four on the fifth string because then you play the A over C sharp again, the classical sound. So it's five on the first string, four on the fifth, and a bar on two. Okay, so you get this. Um, then you have, okay, it's five, five on the E string back to D. So you play five, three, two, and zero. And then, 3, 3, 2 on the E string, and then 2 again with G major 7. 0, 0 on the E string, and then 2, 2 into F sharp major. Okay? Just F sharp, a bar on 2, E shape. Okay, so that's the bridge. change the, um, the scale, we need to change the key back to uh, the G, A, D sound, so you can just play G, A, D, okay? or you can play the intro, and then you start the last chorus. Now the last chorus has a little bit of a change there, uh, a beautiful change in my opinion, but it starts the same way. Okay? Exactly the same. Okay, you play the first two lines the same way. And then you play. Okay? It's um okay, the D over F sharp line and then three on the second string again, but then you have E over G sharp. So I play the open first and second strings, four and four on strings three and six. Okay? Um, you can play this, you can play one on the third string if you're daring, but you need uh, four on the sixth string, okay? So I prefer this sound, it's more optimistic in my opinion, it's, that's what's uh, supposed to, to play. It's an optimistic transition. And then you have this. Okay? This is F sharp seven to B minor. Okay? Michael Bolden sings that high note, so I decided why not keep it. 999 nine, nine on strings 1, 3, and 5, and if this looks familiar, it's because it's B7 up here on 9, strings 1, 3, and 5. And then immediately a F sharp, normal F sharp chord twice. The 2-2 two, two on the E string is the melody. So, and then you have the open E string twice, B bass, B minor chord. Okay, so put the B minor on, just don't play the, uh, don't bar the E string. Two on the fifth, and then the rest of the chord. Three, four, four on strings, two, three, and four. And then you have the... Okay, the ending. And then you can end with... Or just end on D. 
So that's the bridge and the last chorus. So before you go download the tab, the link is below in the description. Before you go, the tab is for free, of course. It'll be waiting for you uh, one more second. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Everything is for free here, like the tab, like this lesson, like this arrangement. Um, so subscribe, there's a ton of lessons for free over here. Just check the playlists. Um, there's a lot more than you, uh, than you think. Um, but even though everything, including the tab, reminding you the links below in the description, everything is for free, you can still um, pledge on Patreon and help out and give something back if you like. Everything goes right back into Lick and Riff, into your guitar education, into making time to work on these lessons. Um, it's my pleasure, so I thank you in advance for your generosity, for anything you choose to give. Uh, and I thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Uh, enjoy!